Travis Wayne Goodsell. In the Pearl of Great Price, under the selections from the Book of Moses, chapter 1, verse 12. And it came to pass that when Moses had said these words, behold, Satan came tempting him, saying, Moses, son of man, worship me. And it came to pass that Moses looked upon Satan and said, Who art thou? For behold, I am a son of God, in the similitude of his only begotten. And where is thy glory that I should worship thee? For behold, I could not look upon God except his glory should come upon me, and I were transfigured before him. But I can look upon thee in the natural man. Is it not so? Surely. So there's the real name of Satan. Blessed be the name of God, for his spirit hath not altogether withdrawn from me. Or else, where is thy glory? For it is darkness unto me. I can judge between thee and God. For God said unto me, Worship God, for him only shalt thou serve. Get thee hence, Satan. Deceive me not, for God said unto me, Thou art after the similitude of mine only begotten. And he also gave me commandments, when he called unto me out of the burning bush, saying, Call upon God in the name of mine only begotten, and worship me. And Moses said, I will not cease to call upon God, I have other things to inquire of him, for his glory hath been upon me. Wherefore, I can judge between him and thee, depart hence Satan. Well, <clears throat> all he said was, worship me. <laughs> and he gets a long speech from Moses. <clears throat> so anyway, and now when Moses had said these words, Satan cried with a loud voice, and ranted upon the earth, and commanded, saying, I am the only begotten. Worship me. So now let's go to Abraham, chapter 4. No, it's Moses. Whoops. My bad. Moses chapter 4 <clears throat> And I the Lord God spake unto Moses saying that Satan whom thou hast commanded in the name of mine only begotten is the same which was from the beginning and he came before me saying behold here am I send me I will be thy son and I will redeem all mankind that one soul shall not be lost, and surely I will do it. Wherefore, give me thine honor. Verse 3, Wherefore, because that Satan rebelled against me, and sought to destroy the agency of man, which I, the Lord God, had given him, and also that I should give unto him my own power, by my by the power of mine only begotten I caused that he should be cast down and he became Satan yea even the devil the father of all lies to deceive and to blind men and to lead them captive at his will even as many as would not hearken unto my voice now there's a passage in Isaiah which is also in the Book of Mormon. <clears throat> in Isaiah it is 14.12 How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did, didst weaken the nations? This symbol of a fallen star has been personified with just that. 
the inverted pentagram. A regular pentagram is a star. An inverted, which means flipped upside down, makes it a falling star. That is the symbol of Lucifer. That is the symbol and sign of the devil. Satan, whatever word you give him, Lucifer is the Latin term meaning light bearer. Do we have this understood? The First Presidency gave a message today in which they provide an update about uh, the Manti and the Salt Lake temples being renovated. For the Salt Lake Temple, which is at headquarters of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, they say this sacred building is a symbol of our love for the Savior, Jesus Christ. Now let me show you the symbol that they're claiming is their love for Jesus Christ. And with this we end the video.